When we drove the Tata Altros last year, we found the petrol engine to be very meh. But now Tata says that they've addressed that issue with this, the new Altros i Turbo. But I feel there's still something very important that's missing, as I shall now explain. Yes, this is the new Tata Altros i Turbo. And from the outside, apart from the stunning new shade of Laguna Blue, that makes it look oh so good in any light, the Altros remains completely unchanged from before. But a peek into the interior reveals a new black and grey cabin look, along with new leather upholstery and two additional little tweeters. But tech upgrades on this hatchback are of more significance, as the Altros has gotten cleverer. For starters, Tata's Ira connected car system, which we earlier saw in the Nexon, is now offered with the Altros as well. But while it brings inbuilt navigation from what three words, the natural voice command feature now supports English, Hindi, and English commands. So let's try some of them out. Set temperature to 25 degrees. Sure, setting temperature to 25. Temperature ko 30 degree pe set kar do. Okay, AC ka temperature 30 space set kiya ja raha hai. Set fan speed to 4. Sure, setting fan speed to 4. Fan speed ko 2 pe set kar do. Alright, fan speed ko 2 pe set kiya ja raha hai. Turn up the volume by 10%. Okay, increasing volume to 10. He was blessed with. Tamil Nadu celebrates Tiruvalluvar Day. Volume ko 5% bada do. Zaru Avas ko 5. Pay set kar diya hai. The voice activation works well, but it's not as intuitive as it seems. You will need to know the specific commands and the certain keywords and phrases to make it work properly. So, it would have been great if Tata gave us a list of those keywords. But anyway, moving on. Now the Altra's iTurbo also comes with something new called Express Cool function. What that does is cool the cabin 70% faster than normal. While I don't have the means to test that scientifically and this cold, miserable weather in Delhi, I don't plan to do it either. So let's take the word for it for now. While I do like the way the steering wheel is designed, my OCD continues to be triggered with the awkwardly shaped speedo. And the lack of a wireless charger and sunroof may be missed by some. Other than that, there is no other change in the cabin of the Altros. Now with that out of the way, it's now time for the proper test. What is the Altros iTurbo like to drive? In this i-turbo model, the Altros is powered by a 1.2-litre three-cylinder turbo petrol engine borrowed from the Nexon. But it's tuned to 110 horsepower and 140 newton meters of torque. The first thing you notice with the engine is the refinement. Vibrations on the steering wheel pedals, the gear lever, which are expected traits from a three-part motor, are quite literally non-existent. And when cruising on the highway, it's surprisingly quiet and refined as well. Throttle response is quite good and it's fairly easy to heel and toe if you know how to. But when you put it into the new sport mode, it sharpens up the throttle response and allows the engine to rev more freely. Low end torque from the engine is decent and you can easily pull away in fifth gear without dropping a cog. The torque kicks in at 1500 RPM, which is great, but at 5500 rpm, it drops off like a cliff. When it comes to grunt, Tata claims that the iTurbo can accelerate from 0 to 100 under 12 seconds. While we don't have a V-Box handy, from where I'm sitting, it seems possible. It's not shove you in the seat kind of acceleration, of course, but it's quite peppy and fun to drive. The motor is down on power from the Nexon, sure, but the Altros is lighter. To be able to offer good fuel economy, Tata has tried to strike a balance between competitive performance and economy. While you can never have too much power, 
you can always do better with an efficient engine, especially when fuel prices are as high. In today's market where automatics are high in demand, delaying that offering is like delaying your bumble date after spending hours chatting in DMs. Sooner or later, they're gonna get tired of waiting and move on. However, Tata Motors has confirmed that the Altra's iTurbo model will soon be introduced with a dual clutch automatic. So if that sounds exciting enough for you to really, really want one, you'll have to wait a little longer. But for now, the Altra's iTurbo continues to be paired with a five-speed manual transmission only. Shifting is extremely smooth and the shifter feels quite good to throw around but I feel that the throws could have been a little shorter. Now the clutch pedal is light and has a relatively short travel. Uh, there is no springy release, so it makes it easy to drive. Now Tata has uh, revised the steering on this, claiming that it makes it more engaging to drive. It feels a bit hefty, but translates minimal feel back to me. So. I'm not a huge fan if I'm honest and it doesn't inspire me the confidence that I'm seeking. But that's only apparent when I'm actually pushing the car. When you're driving through the city and normal driving conditions, you wouldn't even notice that and you wouldn't even need it. But at low speeds, it is still a little bit heavy for my liking. Now the suspension setup is very well balanced in my opinion. Uh, it doesn't crash or bottom out very easily and it takes bumpy roads with aplomb. The overall refinement in the Altros is commendable as well. Cabin noise is kept to a minimum and apart from a tiny bit of tire noise at higher speeds on our highways, which is partly down to the road surface, the cabin is fairly silent. We don't know the price of the new Altros iTurbo at the moment as we drive it, but we know it will be reserved for the higher trim levels. With the new XZ Plus model being introduced, the Altros iTurbo is expected to cost around 8 to 9 lakh. That price would include everything we spoke about, along with a 5 star end cap crash test rating. Comparing apples to apples, the rivals to the Altros iTurbo include the Hyundai i20 Turbo and the Volkswagen Polo TSI, both of which offer higher torque output and the i20 trumps it in power as well. Additionally, they both include the option of an automatic transmission. While it feels like we finally have an Altros petrol offering which is fun to drive, I have a feeling that the lack of an automatic might be limiting its sales for sure. However, I could be wrong. Tell me what you think in the comments. Would you prefer the manual that we have right now or would you wait for the automatic? While you're at it, subscribe if you haven't already. And in the meantime, I'm going to keep driving this while I still can. <laughs>